Landon. My name is Kayla. And welcome to LKCV. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and turn the post notifications on so that y'all can be part of the LK squad. Squad. Period. Y'all, so today um, we got some steak, some cabbage, and I made butternut squash, but I made it like some yams, y'all. And it's pretty good. And we just really just want to talk to y'all about, like, you know, y'all mental health. And want to tell y'all how we feeling, how we've been feeling these last couple of weeks. And make sure y'all put a comment down below on how y'all been. Y'all, this is an interactive video, so y'all need to say something, though. Mm -hmm. Don't make me bully y'all. Even though this is a mental health one, don't make me bully y'all. Oh, my God. So, baby, how you been feeling? Um, depressed. What? Um, I think you know why though, like that, just like the doctor visit, and then me just having to be on this medication for a long time, and me feeling like I'm just never gonna be back to just normal like mm -hmm. how I was. Yeah, like this is my new normal, you know. Mm -hmm. How have you been feeling? I've been okay. I feel like it's a little stressed out, worrying about you and like how stuff and. My birthday. Mm -hmm. Why are you uh, excited about your birthday, though? Because it's like almost every year something crazy happens that causes like stuff to be weird, you know, like situations to be weird. Mm -hmm. Um, and I kind of don't want it to be like that this year. I kind of want like smooth sailing. Mm hmm. Um, worrying about like going to Atlanta and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to see my brothers, but I'm not about to get on his flight. Really? Yeah. I think I'm gonna be okay. You so? Yeah. I think your birthday is gonna go smooth too. Like, we're gonna manifest that it's gonna be smooth sailing. Yeah. Now, this is pretty good though. So, if y'all want like. A low carb option to like make yams. Do this. Um, if y'all want to know how we made it, we'll post a video. But I mean, I feel like we both have been like beefing though. Mm -hmm. And y'all know it says it's kind of hard for us to express like our feelings, mm -hmm. our feelings to each other because we don't want to stress each other out. Yeah. Y'all, we don't know. I don't know why this tough. I think because the kind of steak I got. I thought it was ribeye, but. Sirloin? No, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's probably sirloin. I ain't getting, I ain't getting it no more. Because I'm used to ribeye, y'all. And it's a little done, too. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know how you wanted it. You yeah, no, I was giving him rare, but you don't be liking that much paint, so. I don't mind me alone. You know, I ain't sure I'm going to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you ain't struggling. Mm -hmm. Everyone wanna know how y'all been like. Cause mine says everything, especially it being a new month, we don't pay rent. Mm hmm We know a lot of people stressed out because of that. Dang. Don't mind my steak. <laughs> she like drowning it. Y'all love me some A1. God had this with my steak. Don't don't give me no steak. Don't know A1. I'm gonna you be ready to fight. Yeah. I can't do no A1. It's nasty to me. I think that's probably like one of the things that we don't agree on. I can't do it. You can't do it? Mm-mm. It's nasty. Because it's like vinegar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm about to eat steak like this. Are you? Because I want to do the same thing. Mm-hmm. Let me do it. Hold on. Everybody got time to be in cute. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I feel like, babe, I feel like you're doing pretty good, though, as far as, like, maintaining and, like, your mindset and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, because this is something that a lot of people be like, fuck it. I don't want to be here no more. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. But there's really nothing we can do but 
hope for the best manifest manifest good results and stuff yeah i think like i've been trying to like get myself in the mindset like oh there's people out there like actively dying and stuff like that but i'm yeah. like no forget that like if i'm sad i'm sad yeah and that's valid like it's okay to be sad mm-hmm. as long as you as long as you don't sit in it you know yeah that's the main thing mm-hmm. as long as you don't sit in it yeah but yeah make sure y'all come in because we really want to know how y'all feeling mentally emotionally physically mm-hmm. spiritually all that how you feeling spiritually um out of touch right now why I feel like, honestly, I just feel like like I've prayed and I've prayed and then I've manifested and manifested and stuff is just like not going my way right now. Like what? Like, I still think I might have to put off school a little bit, honestly. Why? Because just like mentally, I'm not there. Like, I'm not going to be able to focus on it. Mm -hmm. And nursing school is just going to take all my dedication just like when I was getting my OP and it took everything, getting my BSN is gonna be a lot more dedication than what I did for LPN. And I'm like, I'm not there mentally. Mm. And I don't wanna like, just like half ass it, honestly. Yeah, that is some serious. Yeah. Like I understand like, you're not like a doctor, but you are putting people's lives in your hands. Mm-hmm. Like even as an LPN, like I have like, you know, a lot of responsibility, but I'm gonna have a lot more as a BSN having my bachelor's yeah mm-hmm. and i'm just like i'm not honestly i don't think i'm ready for it right now so yeah i mean i was like i'm just gonna let you make that decision yourself yeah because i didn't want to be a person to you know be the type of hundred husband be like no you don't need to do it right now, you know? <laughs> yeah because that title was like what i was trying to say but i didn't know how to express it like right now is not a good time mm-hmm because I want you to go back to school. I want you to finish what you start, you know? Mm-hmm. But I just want us to know what's exactly going on. Yeah. Know? Before we put your, like, your brain into a whole nother issue. Mm-hmm. You know? We don't know what this medication could bring on. Yeah. Then you're, like, forcing your brain to remember shit. Mm-hmm. You know? And I just don't feel like right then, like, right now or next two months. I, like, that's why I said next year. Because mm-hmm. I feel like we'll probably be better off, mm-hmm. and all of that. Like me personally, I that's why I, I stressed out about because I'm like, dang, like, am I like being a good husband? You know, to yeah. say like take a break. No, you're definitely being a good husband. I'm just I'm super bullheaded, you know that. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, I gotta get it. I gotta get it. Like I gotta get it now. You know, like I like I honestly I feel like. Like, I just, like, I feel like I'm running out of time. I don't know why I feel like that, but I do. Like, ever since, like, what happened, Mm -hmm. I just feel like I'm running out of time. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, it was, like, it was, like, a near-death experience, but, like, I'm still here. Like, I'm still, I'm still kicking. Mm -hmm. But just, like, I don't know why, but, like, in my head, I'm just, like, I feel like I'm running out of time for certain stuff. I mean, I've been like that my whole life, though. I've been feeling like I'm running out of time, you know? Mm -hmm. And... Even like mar- getting married, um, which is something I definitely don't regret, but getting married, um, like want to get the trailer, like everything like that. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's, I'm like, I want it so bad. And it's like, I'm, cause I feel like I'm, I get it. Cause I feel like I'm running out of time. You know, mm-hmm. I feel like this, I have a, I had a timeline in my head, you know? Mm-hmm. And I think I told you about that. Like I had a timeline of what I wanted when I wanted it. And I mean, unfortunately, I had to push some stuff back, but as far as like a house and kids and stuff like that, like I was thinking 25, 26, you know? Mm-hmm. So like now, like my brain is like, dude, relax. Like time is not really, you know, like I told you, it's just an illusion. Yeah. And it's like, kind of hard to think like that when all your whole life you've been thinking about time mm-hmm. and about birthdays and about like life. You know, so you can't really, like, get in the mindset that time is just an illusion. Yeah. Because that's literally what we survive off of. Mm -hmm. But when you get in that mindset, like, you always let stuff, like, roll off your back, you know? Yeah. But I understand it's hard when you've been on it. Mm Mm-hmm. 
But I mean, I don't really feel like there was a near death experience. I don't, cause I mean, cause I mean, you wasn't here, but I was. I don't think it was a near death experience. It was scary, mm -hmm. but it definitely wasn't something like that's what the neurologist told me. She was like, it wasn't something that could have killed her. Yeah, it was just gonna cause like brain damage, but it wasn't gonna be something that would kill her. She would just possibly be like, you know, basically a vegetable. And I'm like, that's the reason why I took like it so serious. Yeah, you know, because I'm like, I don't want my wife to just be here. Yeah, and, and so, like, honestly, I feel like. I feel like to me, like that's basically dying. Yeah, I feel like that's so selfish to just keep somebody here because of your own personal. Mhm. Mm yeah, I'm full. Me too. Y'all always started getting deep real quick. Yeah. Um, <laughs> let's reel it back in, I guess. <laughs> but make sure y'all like put tell us how y'all feel. Like we gonna be working on probably doing this like once a month and just checking in with our subscribers, with our family with the squad you know mm -hmm. and we do love y'all we really do like it takes a lot for us to even get in front of the camera and just give y'all content because we're really homebodies and tired all the time yeah i'm always tired y'all she always tired <laughs> and so i'm like babe let's just you know eat with the people like make sure y'all grab some get y'all some food <laughs> and eat with us oh my god mm. and eat with us and just buy mm -hmm. you know our next videos give us some ideas leave some comments down below with questions y'all want to ask us um we are going to be working on a book well three books right mm -hmm. we're working on three books y'all and we're thinking like end of next year the end of like 2025 it's gonna be something that we're gonna have to unveil within yeah. ourselves since we both have kept a lot of stuff contained and that's solely to um better our mindset that mm -hmm. makes sense because i feel like if we wouldn't have like buried it or like quote unquote healed from it then we wouldn't be where we are today but i me and babe feel like it's time to just air it all out and whoever feelings we hurt we don't even care we gotta have, hurt our feelings, so right? we done came to that understanding that we gotta live for ourselves, mm -hmm. for each other, for the squad, you know, and we just about to put it in there. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> but make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Make sure y'all share our videos. Even this one, if y'all know some people that just need to vent. Mm -hmm. This is that platform. This is that channel. And just put in the comments. We definitely gonna respond. Like, give y'all some advice of what we feel like you should do. Mm -hmm. um, some motivation, some encouraging words, all of that. And yeah. Ooh, babe, I just thought of something. Mm -hmm. Like when people respond, you know, like if they don't want it like super public, you know, mm -hmm. we can make personalized videos for them. Yeah, we can do that too, y'all. Like, make personalized videos videos for them but we can post it on our page but just not say who it was for or i feel like it'd be it? no i feel like it'd be better if it's just like a private video like okay. hey like we're talking to you directly mm -hmm. and nobody but you you know yeah it's more like personal like that so we'll just be sending them videos like by themselves yeah okay and then also if y'all want to put in the comments like y'all what's going on mentally and if y'all want us to make a video for everybody to um coming on and our advice we can do that too it don't really matter we just want to put this content out for y'all because mm -hmm. we love y'all and mental health is so important y'all yeah it definitely especially in the black community um shoot lgbt community <laughs> every community honestly mm -hmm. but primarily in the black and lgbt community because we kind of always put that in the back burner that mental health is not important and your feelings is not valid. Mm -hmm. So we definitely feel like it is. Most definitely. Because if it wasn't, we wouldn't be where we was today. We just would have bothered everything again and then would have exploded and did something that we wouldn't have wanted to do. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and we love y'all and we out. Peace. Every while you give me all you need. Every while you need.